Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this cute felt branch doll from the movie Trolls. He's roughly eight inches tall and three and a half inches wide. So let's get started. For today's project, you will be needing brown, dark blue, light blue, green, and blue felt. You will also be needing blue, dark blue, black, and brown thread, a circle cookie cutter or stencil, two small black beads for the eyes, a needle, scissors, a pen, some polyfill, and a hot glue gun. To start off, you're going to take your light blue felt and your circle cookie cutter, and you're going to draw out the head. Please keep in mind that the project will shrink in size as we stitch and fill it. Once you're done drawing out the circle, you're going to add a pair of troll ears. Once you cut it out, you can use this as a guideline to cut out another identical piece. Once you're done with the head, you're going to cut out four arm pieces and two body pieces. Next, you're going to take your brown felt and you're going to cut out a pair of shorts. Once you're done with your cutting, you're going to take your blue thread and you're going to tie a knot in one end of it. I typically like to tie my knots three to four times just to make sure the thread doesn't pull through my felt. Once you're done with that, you're going to begin blanket stitching all the way around the head. Be sure to leave enough room so we can fill it with polyfill. If you don't know how to blanket stitch, you can click the top right corner of my screen and it will take you to my video on blanket stitching. Now we're going to start filling the head. Try to poke out the ears as best you can and then get as much polyfill in there as possible. Once you're done filling the head, you can finish blanket stitching and then tie off your thread. Don't cut off the excess thread just yet because we'll use that. Next I'm going to take my pin and I'm going to mark on his face where I would like to put the eyes. Branch's eyes are a little closer together, so I'm going to try to get them as close as possible without it looking too awkward. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to put my needle into the side of the head and pull it out here on the front of the face. Next, I'm going to start stitching my beads onto the face. I like to run my thread through each bead around three times, just to make sure it stays on there and it's sturdy enough.
This next part is optional, but I'm going to take my blue thread and I'm just going to add some little ear details. Again, it's optional, so if you'd rather not do it, you can go ahead and skip ahead to the next part of the video. So we're almost done with the face. Next you're going to take your blue felt and you're going to cut out his nose. Once you're done cutting it out, you can go ahead and hot glue it onto his face. Once you've hot glued on the nose, you're going to take your black thread and you're going to bring the two ends of it up together and you're going to tie a knot. Next you're going to take your thread and you're going to begin stitching on some eyebrows and a smile. Now that we're done with the face, we can move on to the rest of the project. You're going to take your arm pieces, you should have four of them total, and you're going to begin blanket stitching two of them together. Once you get to the other end, you're going to fill it with polyfill, then you're going to blanket stitch the rest of it and tie it off. Repeat this process for the other arm.
Next for the body, you're going to take the short pieces and you're going to put one on top and the other on the bottom. Next, you're going to hot glue the short pieces to the body. And I made the mistake of hot gluing the entire piece. Preferably only run hot glue along the outer edges. This way it'll be easier to stitch come later on in the video. When you're ready to stitch, you're going to start off blanket stitching with your light blue thread. You will run the stitch all the way down until you reach the shorts. Once you get the, to this point, open up the felt piece and you're going to very carefully run the thread down to the opposite end of the shorts. You can now leave this piece here and pull out your brown thread. With the brown thread, you're going to stitch the shorts together. Try to only get the short pieces. Once you get to the bottom part of the shorts, you're going to open up the felt piece and very carefully insert the needle here through the side and you're going to run it along to the opposite side of the body. This way the thread doesn't get in the way later when we go to fill it with polyfill. Once you've done that, you can just leave the brown thread hanging there and you're going to re-thread your needle with your blue thread. You're then going to continue blanket stitching along the feet to the opposite side of the body. Once you get to the other side of the body, you're going to take your needle and you're going to run it up through your felt to get it up above the shorts. Once you've done that, you can re-thread your needle with your brown thread and you're going to finish blanket stitching the shorts. When you get to the top part of the shorts, you can go ahead and tie off the needle and cut off the excess thread. Okay, so now that we're done with the tricky part, you can finish blanket stitching up the side of the body. Once you reach the top, you're going to fill the body with polyfill, and then you're going to finish blanket stitching across the top portion and tie off the excess thread. you're going to take your light blue thread and you're going to start down at the feet. I used my excess thread, but if you're more comfortable just getting a new strand and cutting off the old one, that's fine too. It really doesn't matter. You're going to stitch right down the middle and we're basically just going to define the feet and the legs.
When you're ready to define the legs, you can either use your blue thread, or if you'd like, you can tie that off and get your brown thread. <laughs> either way. Next, you're gonna take your hot glue and we're going to begin assembling the body. When you hot glue each piece onto the body, you'll wanna hold it on for a good few seconds just to make sure it stays. Next you're going to take your green felt and we're going to cut out his vest. Basically it's going to be a long strip of felt and then the top portion is going to be slightly curved and that'll go up along his neck. Then you'll cut two small circles for the arms and really most of it is just going to be adjusting it here and there until you get the desired fit that you'd like. you'll take a dark green and a light green felt and you'll begin cutting out small little squares and rectangles of various sizes for the patches along his shorts. Once you've done that you can go ahead and begin hot gluing them into place.
Okay, so we're finally getting close to the end. Next, you're gonna take your dark blue felt and you're going to place your doll down on top of it and you're just gonna draw out the design that you would like for the hair. Once you get done with that, you can go ahead and cut it out and then you'll cut out an identical piece to match it. Now you'll want to hot glue the back of the hair to the back of his head. And then the front part of the hair, you're just going to want to trim up around the eyes so that we'll actually be able to see his face. And then you can start blanket stitching with your dark blue thread all the way around his hair to the opposite side. Make sure to leave a spot open so that we can fill it with some polyfill. Also, once you get finished trimming up the front part of his hair, you can do just a couple dots of hot glue to hold it into place while you blanket stitch. Now this next part is completely optional and feel free to skip ahead to the next part of the video if you'd like. I took some craft fur and I basically hot glued it to the entire front portion of Branch's hair. Once you get the glue laid, you'll turn the craft fur over and you'll lay Branch down right on top of it. Next, you'll just do some trimming until you get the desired shape that you want. This next part is also optional, but I wanted Branch's hair to be darker to match my felt, and so I just took a permanent marker and colored over the entire front layer of the craft fur. And you're done! Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial, and please let me know how yours turned out in the comments down below. Also, if you have any video requests, please leave a comment about them, and I'll do my best to make the request. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.